to bring good health, harmony, and peace to us and the whole world around us. Children have gathered here to chant the Invocation Mantra, and each child symbolically represents a Chatralaya, or a free student home. These privileged children are working for the lesser privileged children living in these Chatralayas. There are 108 Chatralayas in India, where underprivileged children are given shelter and support. Free student home empowers rural children to learn by providing a place to live close to schools with a clean environment, nutritious food, value-based education, and extracurricular activities, and much more. For all this to become a reality, and to achieve our goal of creating a harmonious and peaceful environment, we would like to get the blessings of all the gods and our food jeopardies. We would like to start the invocation off with a prayer to Lord Ganesha, to help remove any obstacles and pave the path to success, and end it with the Shanti Mantra. Let all the people experience wholeness or completeness, Pudram. Let them experience prosperity and auspiciousness, Mangalam. And to let all the people experience peace or tranquility, Shanti. With abundant happiness. Let us now listen to the children chant the invocation prayers and let me join them. Good evening with his presence. Thank you, Swamiji. As most of you know, our Swamiji is a disciple of Pooja Swami Dayananda Saraswati. And is a residing Swamiji at Ashurvedya Gurukulam. Swamiji follows the traditional methods of teaching Vedanta. He teaches the Vedantic texts like Bhagavad Gita, Upanishads, Panchandasi, Tulsi Ramayana, Bhagavata Purana in English, Gujarati, and Hindi. Swamiji's discourses on Ramayana and Bhagavatam are invaluable, and satsangs with Swamiji are always devotion rich. Swamiji has been teaching Vedanta for the past 22 years in Surat, India, under the auspices of Vishwa Mangalam. He also teaches at Arshavindya Gurukulam in Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. In his tours of North America, he has touched the hearts of a number of people with his love and understanding, and has endeared himself to all of those with whom he has come in touch with. We now would like to call our Swamiji to come on stage to share his thoughts on being Prasiddha. With us, children who chant in the program are kindly requested to collect a small gift from Swamiji after the program, so please do not forget to get it. As most of us know, Aang for Seva is an all India movement which is born out of Pooja Swamiji's vision to bring value-based education and healthcare to the least privileged sections of society. Swamiji's vision also aims to bring high quality education to rural India. Aang for Seva organizes global youth leadership program every year to develop contributing leaders to the caring society. It is designed to transform consumers to contributors in Pooja Swamiji's words. Global Youth Leadership Program provides an opportunity to the privileged children in the USA to spend time, interact, work, and bond with the lesser privileged children of our great Pada. Today, we have four special people. Sandhya Sriram, Sriram Ayer, Suhas Adiraju, and Akanksha Kalasabel, who participated in the Global Youth Leadership Program in December 2013 and 2014. They were provided an excellent opportunity to live with the lesser privileged children in India to interact and bond with them. Let us hear what they have to share with us. Please welcome Sanya, Sriram, Suhas, and Akanksha. Hello everyone, I'm Sanya. Hariyama Sriram. Namaste, I'm Suhas. Hariyama Akanksha. So each of us are here to explain our experiences while we were at the GYLP program in India. So um, I'll start off today. So during my time in the GYLP program in India, I was able to interact with many children who were at the Chatralias of Ek for Seva, or free student homes. These children had come from less privileged families and they were not able to get proper food and education there. So these Chatralias um, gave them proper food and education and also allowed them to do different programs and activities. So one girl that I met at the Chatralia in Hubli uh, was a very talented actress and dancer. 
And this program allowed her to expand on her abilities, and she even like performed a monologue for us, and it was just fantastic. Without Aether Seva, she would never have been able to expand on her abilities, and many other kids do this too with singing, dancing, and different instruments. One of the things that I really appreciated most about these Chandragyas was how much respect the children were shown and how much respect they were taught. Uh, they always uh, said Brahmanpana before they ate any meal, and they would never ever waste their meal because they knew how privileged and blessed they were to have that meal in front of them. So due to this amount of respect they were shown and taught, these kids want to grow up to be people who help their society in a positive way and directly help the welfare of others. So not only are they getting a proper education, they're also learning to become really good people in society. Besides just visiting the Chakralias, we also went to a village called Uriga Nagavali. And in this village, there was no plumbing or electricity. And most people in America and India would consider this a necessity. So Ava Seva donated these solar lamps to every family who was in the village so that they, would able to be do, uh, they would be able to do uh, activities safely after dark. Um, what saddened many of us, however, was that these villagers were going to be displaced from their lands because they were told the land they were living on was to be used for other purposes. But thanks to donations from people just like you, we were able to raise enough money so that villagers could find new grounds to live on. So thank you for those donations. And um, finally, I'd like to talk about one girl that I met on the trip. Her name was Sandhya, and she was at the Mysuru Chakralia. And obviously, my name is Sandhya as well. So I had an immediate connection with her. And also, we were both 14 at the time. Though our name and age was the same, we had completely different lifestyles. She had grown in a less, a less privileged family, and she had to face many obstacles growing up, whereas I did not have that problem. But now, she has fantastic food, education, and opportunities in her life so that her life is much more similar to mine and all of yours. Thank you so much. I'm Shiro, for those of you that didn't hear me the first time. Anyway. In the summer of 2013, when my parents first told me that I'd be going on a community service with an organization called Aim for Seva, I didn't really know what to expect. I just thought I'd be sitting in some building in India just providing whatever labor, whatever help I could, I could provide, like I have with my clerk community service organizations. However, as the months started counting down and we started getting on the group call, talking about what we were going to do, my initial, my initial notion began to decrease, like, exponentially. It did not sound like what I thought it would be at all. And the second I walked into my first chakra, it was completely false. What I was doing here wasn't devoting any labor. I was devoting my time to these children that were, I came from such harsh backgrounds. And we could do this in so many ways. We could either play with them. I had cricket was always a very popular option. I could talk with them. And I even got to practice my Hindi a lot. And I could just learn about them. It was such a great experience. I learned about so many people that I would have never met otherwise. And they all came from all different backgrounds. The only thing they had in common was that they were just underprivileged. And now they're in a chakra where they can learn because of this organization. And the most interesting part that I've learned was all their futures, what they wanted to do with their lives. I heard things like joining the army, or becoming a teacher, or even joining Aim for Seva and trying to bring this experience to other children that are underprivileged. I realized what Amber Sable was doing. It was more than just providing education to children. It was attempting to foster change. By, by being a part of these chakralayas, they're learning what they can do for their communities, what they can do for all of India. They, go, they intend to go back and serve their communities. Amber Seba is more than a charitable organization. It is a, it's, a, it's a revolution. Thank you very much, and I hope you donate. Thank you. Pranams to Puja Swamiji, Swami Pratik Bodhanandaji, and Namaste to all. In December of 2014, I had the opportunity of touring several Chatralayas, and it was an eye-opening experience. Although, when I say eye-opening, I don't simply mean reaffirming how privileged that we are as a society. But moreover, the trip highlighted the scope of Aim for Seva's presence and influence in the developing areas of India. 
Infoseva influences more than 14,000 students across 15 states in India and gives them opportunities to thrive and support their communities in ways that previously were unimaginable to many. Not only is it amazing to witness the wingspan of Infraseva in India, but it is also remarkable to know that 95% of these students pass their board exams. What does this show? That Infraseva does not only provide copious opportunities for thousands, but also cultivates their intelligence and leadership potential while ensuring that students are able to make use of the opportunities. The trip enabled us, the next generation of volunteers, to witness the outcome of the organization's efforts all over Tamil Nadu and Karnataka on a very personal level. Thank you to Swami Chidrupananda, Sh uh, Sriyanko, and Shobha Andi for leading the trip. Hello, I'm Tom Chakalasadeo. When I was first told about Aim for Seva four years ago, I didn't take much of an initiative to learn about it. I knew the basics of the organization, that Infraseva helped lesser privileged children, rural kids, go to, go to Chakralayas or student homes to get schooling. Now, I didn't know much about the actual definition of the student home outside, like that one, like two words, but I knew the terminology. As a result, I just saw these children as another statistic, just other poverty-stricken stricken kids whom another global organization was trying to help. With every trip, though, I realized that there were more to these kids than, what I, than the label that I had given them. I knew that the kids who would qualify for Ampersaver were, were lesser privileged. But as I spent more time with them, I saw how Ampersaver really impacted their lives. We saw, poverty from which, we saw the poverty from which they had come from, and I was shocked. My idea of it was much better than the actual reality of the situation. I couldn't comprehend how these kids are so kind, funny, accepting, and hardworking, even coming from such harsh, harsh backgrounds. Even though our visit was to help them, they tried to make us feel comfortable with them. They played kabaddi and soccer with us, and one girl took on the daunting task of teaching the gunner. I felt ashamed of thinking of these wonderful people as simply two-dimensional, as simply lesser privileged kids who received a miracle. I never really valued my education until I met these kids. I am privileged, and yet I rejoice whenever I, had, I have a day off of school. Seeing these kids happy to go to school every day because they wouldn't have been able to without being for Seva, knowing the conditions that they came from and how they pushed through it and are still so happy, really gave me another perspective on the charity. Please donate. You can really change these kids' lives, and we all saw how it did that. Your contributions really do make a change. Thank you.
by finding a house. So you need to have some sort of money to be able to fund everything that is necessary for the house every year. And so the money that you donate to every Chandralia goes towards funding electricity and water to make sure that everything stays running, as well as making sure the children are well clothed and well fed. And since there's so many more children now who want to come to Chandralia, the waiting lists are getting longer and longer. So to be able to accommodate all these children who desperately need an education, we need the donations to be able to expand the Chandralias. But do does all of the money go to them? Absolutely. For every dollar, 92 cents goes directly to help the children, and the other 8 cents goes for overhead and advertisement. Aim for Seva was started by Pooja Swamiji, so from the very beginning it has had good values and from inception, and that's what drives us to this day and makes us a great organization. So, for the Pennsylvania chapter, why is our goal only 150,000? Why is it not something like a million? Well, every single year, each state chapter decides on one or two chadralias to help for the entire year. And this year, the Pennsylvania chapter has decided upon two chadralias, one that's in Tamil Nadu and another one that's in Orison. We've also decided to help this one place called Bellari. And in Bellari, most of the people there have most of the people there have gone completely into the mining industry and put a lot of their savings into it. But over the past couple of years, a lot of the mines have shut down, which means that a lot of them don't have jobs and don't have any money, which means they cannot support their family. So AIM for Seva has decided to help out these people and put a job earlier there so the kids can get food and an education and help the entire community as a whole. Why should we donate to AIM for Seva, not any other charity? It's a very good question. I'd first like to say that AIM for Seva supports all of their charities that help the the underprivileged as well as the needy. However, not only do we have the highest rankings, the most credibility, as well as the lowest overhead costs, we also cater to rural as well as tribal India. And all of India too, north, west. So not that many other organizations do that. So I suppose the question is why not even? But how do you know how much to donate? Well, whatever we think is a small amount to donate is actually very big to the people who receive it. $450 can help out a child for an entire year, and $4,500 can help out a child for 10 years, so from kindergarten to 10th grade. Now for us, $40,000 pays for one year of college. A tenth of that can help a kid for 10 years. So we all waste a lot of money on food and electronics and data plans for the electronics and clothes and shoes. Spending $20 there isn't that big of a deal. Why should it be a big deal here? I'm not saying that I don't waste a lot of things, I waste a lot of things too. But all I'm saying that is that we should set aside some of this money and give it to people who really need it. How does this affect people in India? Think about it this way. If there was an underprivileged person and he has a kid, the kid's also going to be underprivileged. He's not going to get a good education and he will continue to be underprivileged, so his kids are also going to be underprivileged. It's a cycle of poverty. Aim for Seva fights this by educating kids through the child earlier. There was a boy, a young kid, who went through our chapter list and is now working for an American company called Bosborough. And he would have never had those opportunities without our chapter list. Out of 1,000 organizations, Aim for Seva is one of five that got a platinum certificate from GuideStar India and a four-star rating from Charity Navigator. So we can do the job and we are credible and we do impact kids and we make it a, we give them a better life than what they have right now. I've heard of something called ACE. What's that? The ACE package is a very, very special donation option. With the regular up, with the regular packages such as the $450 and the 4500 you support a child for a certain amount of time. With the ACE program, what we do is that you place your donation into a special bank account. With the interest accrued from that, from the bank account, we use that to support a child every month. However, after the child passes the 10th standard and leaves the Chatanalea, your donation is still in the bank, so we keep using the interest to put another child through the child labor. So the difference between the ACE program and our other programs is that you're supporting a child perpetually. But what if I want to donate something other than money? Can I do that? Absolutely. So if you have, say, ancestral land or property in India, and you have no plans of returning to it in the near future, you can lease that property, say for Seva, and so they can use that property to build new chandralia and schools for all the children who are coming in. Thank you for listening, and please donate.
पुंभद्रम करने भी सुनिया बदेवा बद्रम पश्ये भाक्षपी यजत्रा तिरै रंगे ही तुष्टुपाकुं सत्तनु भी वैसे मधे पहितम यदायु हो वस्ति नयंत्रो प्रत्यस्रवा वस्ति न पुष्टा विश्वेदा वस्ति न तार्क्षो अरिष्टने भी वस्ति नो प्रदर्शित ददातु ओम शांति 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 It was very nice to see all beautiful children here doing beautiful prayers to help the children in India. Children helping children. That's the most beautiful thing I could see today. I did it now. Here we have got beautiful program. On Sundar Chand. Generally in India, they keep chanting this Sundar Chand. For different reasons, they chant, and it's one of the very beautiful section of Rama. Then the popular verse say, Sundare Sundaro Rama. Sundare Sundari Sita, Sundare Sundaram Sarvam, Sundare Kivna Sundaram. In Sundar Kanda, Rama is beautiful. Sita Anveshanam, searching for Sita by Hanuman, is amazing. Sundare Sundari Katha, all the stories, the movement of Hanumanji, from India to the Lanka, with different obstacles coming, how he overcomes all these obstacles and reaches Lanka and searches for Janki Ji. And then finds the Janki Ji Dashopwatika. And it's very difficult to talk because the Janki Ji is always afraid of monkeys. Is that for that? Our Kaushalya also told her, even when you see monkey in the picture, you are afraid Janaki Ji, and you want to go to forest with Rama, there will be real monkeys. This Janaki Ji said, no, I want to go with Rama, and here comes the monkey to meet him, meet her. It's amazing. And how Hanuman Ji recites the Ramayana, and meets Janaki Ji is amazing an area to learn very emotional, very devotional, very bold. Anumanji said, Mom, ride on my shoulder. As I fly here, I fly back to Rama, don't worry. Janaki said, no, this is India. This is called Sanatan Dharma. When Ramana kidnapped me, I was helpless. He touched me. Knowingly, I will never touch any Parapurusha, other person than Rama. I cannot do this thing. And let Rama come and conquer, kill the uh, Ravana and take me, that is becoming of Rama. This is Janaki. Very beautiful area. I think we can catch some talk on your Ramayana, Sundar Kanda. It's so beautiful. So here, they are going to bring it in the dance form and minimum we need to know the story, how it's going on. Well then you can enjoy the bhava, rasa you can enjoy. All this is done to raise funds for our free hostels. Now, I am also running a hostel, I know how, what it takes to run a hostel, constant vigilance. Constant working, constant work with children is not easy. I have people who do this work. And it's beautiful work also, most encouraging. The time they come from their home, and by the time they reach back to their home, 
what we do in the Chhatralaya free home is a miracle. Yoga, music, chanting, prayers, discipline, education, tutorials, everything. They love the Chhatralaya so much they don't want to go home afterwards. They love it so much. Therefore, I want all of you to help us with the vision of Swamiji. With the most brilliant idea, Chhatra Radha, free hostel, free home, become a hub from where we have the tribal community. One thing you should know, all our 108 free homes are in tribal area. Because M4 Seva started mainly to connect the remote area of India to mainstream. And that is the only way we can connect is to opening Chhatralaya. What a brilliant idea Swamiji got it and we are working and we have to go ahead. By 2020, we want to make 100 more Chhatralaya. And that is possible only with your help. Okay? Thank you very much. Namaskaram. Bharatanjali is extremely honored to present Sundarakanda, a signet of hope from the great epic, the Ramayana, for the benefit of Aim for Seva, founded by Pooja Swami Dayananda Saraswati. Shrimati Anita Guha has choreographed the ballet so very beautifully. The lyrics in Tamil and the exceptional music are by Shri Neveni Santana Gopala. Rhythm interludes by Shri P. R. Venkata Subramanian. The fight sequence between Bali and Sugriva is choreographed by Shri Tiruchal. The students of Bhartanjali and the guest artist present the dance drama at the lotus feet of Shri Ram. Sundarakanda means beautiful episode or chapter. This is the only chapter of the Ramayana in which the hero is not Rama but Hanuman. Hanuman's selflessness, strength and devotion to Sri Rama are emphasized. Hanuman was fondly called Sundar by his mother Anjana and Sayyid Valmiki chose this name because this chapter deals mainly with Hanuman's journey to Lanka. We are going to experience the uniqueness of the scenes as they unfold beautifully in front of our eyes. Rama and Lakshmana are in search of Sita. They enter Kishkinda, the kingdom of the monkeys. There, they meet Sugriva and his associate Hanuma. They get to know each other. Sugriva says, help me regain my throne and I will help you find your wife. The bond of everlasting friendship is reaffirmed by Hanuma. 